So we have had our camper for a whole whopping six months. We purchased this at the end of October last season, stayed in it one whole night. It was already winterized, so we couldn't even use the bathroom. Drove it home, it's been parked in the driveway ever since. Today is an early day in April. It looks better than it is. It's warm, we're excited. We wanna get this puppy going because we're camping. May 5th is our first day out, so we're excited. We want to make sure it's all ready to go. So today we're going to be installing our TV in the bedroom. It didn't come with one. We have our TV from our old camper. We bought a mount off of Amazon. Now I get to screw into the back of our camper, which is something I have been dreading doing since we brought this home day one. What we got to do is find where the backing plate is. If you've watched a video about how to mount a TV in a camper before, you've probably seen people use magnets to determine where the backing plate is. It's an awesome idea. I'm stealing it. I brought magnets in here. You can see they're already up. They put a, a metal plate behind the wall so you know where you can screw in. I have gone all over this wall. This is pretty much the furthest right you can go before it falls off. This it's hard to see in the, in the camera, I'm sure, but there's a, a seam right here. And that's where the magnet falls off once I go past that point. There's a sticker here that says TV backer. That's about the northernmost point where the magnet won't go any higher. Eh, a little bit, but not much. Right about there. <laughs> you can see it'll, it'll fall off my finger and back to here. And then it actually goes all the way over to the closet, which is kind of cool. I don't know why you're going to mount something over there, but hey. Yeah, so you can do this, run this all the way over, and it sticks. So I'm sure it even probably goes into the closet. I'm going to find out right now, actually. No, it doesn't carry into the closet. Not at all. So it stops behind this wall. The lowest point is right about here. If you try to go down any further, it shoots itself back up. Um, I don't need to go that low. I've already measured and marked. Here's what we're going to do. These are the tools that you're going to need to do this job appropriately. Items you need for the install. Obviously the mount, which comes with the backer on the TV, the wall mount unit, and this piece slides into it. It does come with a second mount, so if you wanted to put another TV elsewhere, all you have to do is slide this out and slide it into the new one. These are set screws, which go into the top, these two holes, to hold it in place so it doesn't come bouncing out as you're driving down the road. These are the screws that come with it to put it in the wall, a tape measure so you can know where it's going, pencil to mark it. We need a drill to drill holes, a drill bit to start the pilot holes. We want a regular screwdriver so you can attach it to the back of the television. You want an actual level so you can make sure that the level that is in the middle of this is accurate. And of course, we need a TV. I have already have the backing plate on the back. That is the top which goes into that piece right there. Let's get going. The mount comes with these screws, which are insanely long. The back of the camper isn't this, this, it's less deep than this. I took this screen out, opened up the window, and I held this from, I want to, I want to say wall depth. And even if I was further in, it still stuck out the back of the camper. That's not good. You don't want that to happen. So, on my travels today, I stopped at the hardware store. This is what it came with. This is what I bought. That is perfect to go into the wall and not out the back. This is the mount. This is the side. It looks thicker than it is. There we go. Putting that through there, we've still got about three quarters of an inch sticking through. I don't have a big TV. It's a 32 inch TV from Walmart. That should be plenty. Here's the scary part. I'm gonna start drilling in the back of my camper. I've got my screw gun. I've got my drill bit. There it goes. This is pre-marked. Off camera, I measured and found I need this to be right about here. When the, the piece gets slid in, the top of it sticks up here and that's about halfway on the TV side to side so I'm not running into the closet and when the slide comes in it's not hitting the TV that's important this mount has the level in the middle of it 
I used my big level that I showed in earlier, it's actually pretty accurate. I'm using it. So I've got two holes marked here. I'm going to pre-drill with my drill bit. So when I go put the screws in, I don't have to into the wall. It's, it's already there. They're going to, they're going to dig in. It's going to hook this up. Here we go. Wish me luck. So you know what they say, measure once, cut twice. Let's get this done. We're gonna screw into the wall. Bye. Okay, as soon as it bites, stop. You'll feel it go through. You do not wanna go all the way through to the outside. That is a good point to make. Here we go, number two. Done. It's that simple, folks. If I can do it, you can do it. Now, let's get the party started with the screws. This is where the rubber meets the road, I guess. Is that, we're going with it. This is where the rubber meets the road. I don't know about anybody else. These valances come in super handy for just about a million things. If you want a shelf to hold anything, I don't know why I'm using the bed behind me. I got this right here. I can just plop my screws down. I can plop that down. It's great. Above the bed, there's phone holders. They're built in, I love it. Okay, here it goes. I'm a righty and there's the closet here. So I apologize if I'm getting in the way. I can't, I'm not gonna climb in the closet to do this. Here we are. I am gonna line this up with my hole. Here, this is it, I'm in the way, there we go. So, uh, uh, uh. oh, that's scary. It's in. I probably should have looked in the back see if they come poking out at all. Pretend I did. We'll come back to this. I'm gonna leave a little comment in the bottom with a thumbs up or a thumbs down after I go back and check this. So now I'm gonna re-double check my level. The little green guy here in the middle says I'm good. This guy here, oops, that's the ugly side of the level. This guy also says I'm level straight on. So here we go. Number two. And I apologize on the way again. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow, that is snug as a bug in a rug, as they say somewhere. That brings us to installing this piece, the bracket mount that goes on here. They call it locking. I'm gonna give it to them. However, each of these is controlled by a little set screw. You unscrew this and it allows this piece to move. You tighten it back up and it stops it. Whoops, turning the wrong way. Ready to tell you lefty loosey is backwards when you're on camera. That stops it from moving there. It wouldn't have been my first choice. I read it was a locking TV mount. They're not wrong. This piece slides in here. Notice I don't have the TV on it because it would not go in. It looks as if you can put your screws through this as well. I don't know if we're ever gonna take this out and mount it elsewhere. There's already a TV mount outside on the camper for the other television that's in the living room. So I'm believing that this is where we're going to stay. The set screws that it came with are very small. Here we are, little small set screws. I'm gonna stick the included Allen wrench. Oh, reflex is like a rattler. Take the Allen wrench that came in the set and put this in here, tighten her on up, a few twists, and do the same thing on side two. That should stay in place as you go down the road. I doubt, I seriously doubt, that enough bounce would kick this out the TV is already going to be touching the ceiling just about. I don't want it to be any more of a, an issue. So let's take this guy. I'm going to move it out here. So I have enough space to put the TV on and then put the screw in through the top, which controls the angle here. This comes out really far. I was going to say I don't have a tape measure on me, but I do have a tape measure on me. This sticks out about 13 and a half inches from the wall and then the TV swivels. So while we're laying in bed, not only can we turn it towards ourselves, it also angles it, you can have it angled down so it's facing 
where we're laying. So this is gonna be awesome. Here we are, the best $100 money can buy here, the Seeky. It's got three HDMI ports. It's got a, um, a USB, it's got the videos, all that good stuff. Here. This is what goes on top of this. And this is the, the control, same as the little other, all the other set screws that controls how much it tilts. It's kind of cool. I am, oof. It's not coming out of the wall. I'm gonna put the set screw in the top here while I have it out. I'm gonna plug the electrical cord in. I already have the, the cords tied up so they're not gonna be hanging out. In the top where the two connectors are for cable or antenna, you wanna make sure that you're connecting it to the proper one if you have satellite or you have the cable TV, like if you're picking it up from your antenna on top of the RV, that's where you want to put it. Here we are. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. I'm going to swivel this around. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Siri doesn't understand music lyrics. Okay. So here's what I've got. I can work from this side now because, well, I've made space for myself and coming in this way allows allows my elbow to be in the way now we've got extra cord yeah that's what we'll need and it's just that simple this mount does a great job of pointing towards the the bed i mean this is almost straight on I don't think anyone's gonna complain, and even if we rock this down, oh, this is pretty cool. I am proud of myself. I know I've already given myself a pat on the back the once. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a second one. Let's put this all together. We got a TV on the wall, guys. This was super easy. I way overthought this. I don't know why I did. It's all the initial planning. From start to finish, I mean, the parts that I didn't video were me measuring, getting magnets, getting the tools out, getting everything put on the back of the TV. That probably took a half an hour. This probably took 15 minutes. So I'm gonna say this whole job, it's less than an hour, easy. And most of it was me getting stuff ready to start filming. So you guys could probably do this in a half an hour from, from beginning to end. I'm really pleased with this. It's a me, a me mounted kit. Again, wouldn't be my first choice the way it has us locking everything up. However, it seems like it's gonna do a great job. It wasn't expensive, maybe $20 on Amazon. Let's start another project. If you found this helpful, if you found that this answered the questions that I was looking to have answered, give us that thumbs up. Leave a comment below. If I forgot anything, if you think I should have done something different, I would love to know now that it's too late, but help somebody else. If I made a mistake, we don't want somebody else to do the same. So leave that comment, give us that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And I cannot wait until May 5th, the first trip of the year. Happy camping, everybody. If you've been watching our shorts, you know that we haven't had a good long video like this in a while because the weather in Buffalo is terrible. If you haven't been watching our shorts, go back and do it because we got a ton of them that have been coming out all year long. We can't wait to see you on the road. Oh, camping season is upon us, guys. Happy camping, everybody. So, the, so, 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 this. I love Siri.